Hello, welcome to this episode of How To Tutorials by Levelation Studios. I am Lydia and in this video I'm going to show you how you can texture paint um, from images in Blender. Let's get started. <laughs> So this is Mayawa. Mayawa is a girl, <laughs> obviously. And I'm going to be recreating this Ajin paints using images. This is actually gotten from a picture of Mayawa wearing Ajin skirt. So this is a skirt and I'm going to be recreating this. I'm going to do something rough. Might not be exactly like this, but you get the old gist of how you can recreate one by yourself. Let's get to it. So I'll go to UV to show you the UV. So this is the UV of the skirt. If you don't know how to create UV, check out our video on how you can create UV. And also check out our video on how you can texture paints. This video is not going to focus on introduction to texture painting, but how you can use images to texture paint. So the first thing you need to do is make sure you have um, your UV and you have a texture. We won't um, paint over the this jean, so we have to create a new one. So I'll come go back to shading. Make sure you have fake user, so you don't mistakenly delete this. So I'll, let me close it and create a new one. So I'll call this new jean. So with this principle, BSF selected Ctrl T to create a new image texture. And this is possible because of Node Wrangler. If you don't have it activated, go and activate it in your add-on list. It comes with Blender. So I'll take this off, create new. So I'm going to leave this at default and call it new gen. Gen. And okay. So we have our image ready and we have our um, UV. So let's get to it. So when I go to texture paint now, and I want to paint, of course, you need the texture. So go down to texture and click on new. So right now, this one is already on stencil, but I, on, by default, I think it's on tiled or on view plane. I'm not really sure now, but to use this, make sure you change the stencil. So click on open by going to um, texture properties. So make sure you click on the texture properties and click on open to look for the images you want to texture with. So I'll go to HCT, go to references, my UI, and I'm going to start with the front view. So after painting the front, then we'll go to the back before we deal with the side, side views. So with stencil selected, that's why I have it here. If it's, it's on, uh, let's say, tiled, you won't see it. If it's on view plane, you will see it on your, in your viewport. So make sure is on stencil with, with stencil selected you are you have it here so to manipulate the image in your viewport all you need is your right click so by right clicking you can move it hold down control and right click to rotate hold down control uh, hold down shift and right click to scale so you can scale it down and up and rotate it and move it around those are the three basic things you need to manipulate the image in your viewport. So you can reset the image aspects, then you can reset the tra transformation image aspects. So now let me scale it down, or let me scale this, the character up, and scale this up, and start painting. Now see what we have. This is not what I want. This is, is, this is not what I want. So make sure your color is at white, if you want white. If this is what you want, great. It will tint your texture with whatever color you have here. If you want like something like yellow, it's going to tint your texture. But if that is not what you want, if you want the actual color of the image, make sure you set this to white. So I'm just take this white and start painting. Now I have my symmetry on. So to activate it or deactivate, just go down to symmetry and 
remove it but i have mine already in quick favorites so i can easily just activate it and activate it as i work so to use quick favorite check out our video on how to use quick favorite to set yours up if you don't have that already so with that said let me place this okay let me isolate the skirt first select isolate so texture paints so let me let me do this So I want this at the center, so I'll just paint. Let me remove symmetry. So I just paint that. So I have that there. Then paint this down. So with that done, I like this. I like that already. So now I can activate the symmetry and move this up to paint the so let me rotate rotate so I'll just paint this that's the yeah so it's not looking too bad so I'm not trying to be perfect here just to have something going for us so just paint this so whatever I'm painting at this side with my symmetry on active it's going to reflect at the other side so I think I'm done with this I still want to copy more to the other side okay okay so for now I'm leaving this. Let me take this back here. So let me just leave it for now. So let's go to the back. So I'm going to bring in the um, the back image for the back view. And this is it. And place it well where I want it. If I want to scale this, like stretch it, I can do that by clicking on Oh, okay, it has to go the other way around. So you can actually stretch your image, but I don't need that. So I'll reset, reset the image to its default. I just do this. So I'm going to activate, um, I'm going to deactivate symmetry to do the center. Then I will activate it back for, for the other parts. Now, while painting, be, be careful not to do this. If you paint like this, it's going to mess up what I've already done on the other side. So make sure it's well covered. So with that said, I can just paint this. Then activate symmetry to mirror back this other side. Let me Let me do more. So let's say this is okay. If you don't want this thing obstructing of you, just go to um, cursor and for texture opacity, you can take it down. So it's not really obvious, it's not obstructing of you, but I like it at default. Um, let's see, I think that was 33. Yeah, so let's do this. It doesn't have to be perfect. So let me just clean up here. This asking is showing here. Let me just scale this up and remove symmetry and just paint that gin. Yeah, you can activate um what's it called? Fall off. So something smooth, but I'm okay with what I have right now. So now the last thing I need to focus on is the side view. So let me bring in the side view. Uh, let's do with this first. Okay, this. Let me reset. So it doesn't have to be perfect.
Ah, the textures are different. Let me look for another one. Or I might just use this just texture the sides too it doesn't have to be because it's front then front i can use this the back view to texture the side let me make sure my symmetry is on So I won't really be detailed here, just something raw for you to get how it works. So let me do this. So before I paint this side, I have to remove symmetry so it doesn't mess up the good one I have at the other side. So I'll just remove it. I'm using control to rotate. So let's assume we are done. <laughs> let's assume we are done so as not to waste your time. Outfits. So just go to texture paint and select the. Yeah, I think this one will be better. Just place it here. Yeah, I think this is a good one. And just make sure symmetry is off and paint it. And we are done. It doesn't have to be perfect. And we are done. So I'll go back to shading and remove the roughness then reduce the specularity and we have our jeans kit not perfect but you understand the whole process of how you can texture your you can use um images for your um texture painting so don't forget to save make sure you save you can go to back to texture paint image save and you can save which means you can save anywhere in your system or you can pack it which will embed texture in your blender file so that's it for this video this is the one we just painted now and this is the old one this is the old one and this is the new one we just made yeah they are different but you get the whole idea and so that is the end of this video thank you for watching don't forget to like the video Subscribe to Level Nation Studios if you've not done so. If you've been watching us and you've not subscribed, subscribe. Boom. And until next time, stay true to your creativity. Bye bye.